Clark the Shark Loves Christmas. Well, here at the school I am the librarian for, our mascot is sharks. So we love Clark the Shark. Here is another one of the fun stories by Bruce Hale, illustrated by Gra Guy Francis. It is a 3.0 accelerated, <laughs> accelerated reading level story. Let's see how it is. Clark the Shark loves Christmas. Oh, cute. It was Christmas at Theodore Rosert Fish Elementary, and all the fish were in a flurry, but no one was more excited than Clark the Shark. Happy holidays. Christmas rocks, Clark yelled. I love the decorations and the cookies. And even better, he cried. But the caroling is the best, he yodeled. La 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 la. Cool your jets, Clark, said his friend Joey, Mackerel. The best part of Christmas isn't munching and crunching and singing too loud. What do you mean? asked Clark. It's hard to explain, said Joey. Then Mrs. Ink Dink announced, time for Secret Santa. Secret Santa? asked Clark. I didn't know Santa was a spy. Cool. Miss Inky Dink explained that everyone would pick a name from a hat and whichever name you drew, you would get that classmate a gift. But you can't tell who you picked, she said. Where does the spying come in? Clark wondered. Everyone picked names. Clark chose Benny Blowfish, but all he wanted to know was, who picked my name? Nobody spoke. It's a secret, said Miss Inky Dink. I hate secrets, said Clark. Then Clark had a sharky idea. He told Joey, now I get it. The best part of Christmas is getting presents. So what are you giving me? But Joey just shook his head. Over the next few days, Clark tried to spy like Santa. He, picked, he peeked into his classmate's desk to figure out who had his present. But all he found was a shell, a sand dollar, and an old peanut butter and jellyfish sandwich. He tried to trick his friends with rhymes like, Every fire has a spark. I bought a gift and it's for, but nobody confessed. Secret Stana stayed top secret. One morning, Mrs. Inky Dink told the class, today is your last chance to buy a gift because tomorrow is Secret Santa Day. Oh boy, said Joey. Oh joy, said Amanda Illwiggle. Oh no, cried Clark. He tried so hard to learn what his secret Santa was getting him, he'd forgotten about Benny's present. Even worse, he'd blown his allowance on the newest issue of Captain Sucker Month. Could Clark just give his favorite comic book to Benny? The next morning, everyone placed their presents around the class Christmas tree. There were big gifts and small gifts, lumpy gifts and thumpy gifts. But which one was Clark's? One by one, kids claimed their presents. A hula hoop for Amanda. Perfect, I love to wiggle. A baseball cap for Billy Ray. Ray, someone says, someone said, really knows me. Socks, said Sid the Squid. Thank you, Secret Santa. Billy Ray Ray. Clark looked around and his smiling classmates with their perfect gifts and his tummy gave a twi twiggle. 
He should have gotten a kazoo. Did Benny even like comics? Clark whispered to Mrs. Inkydink. I have a problem. What is it? She asked. All the other secret Santas got the right gift for the right person. He said, I'm afraid mine is not so hot. Miss Inkydink patted his cheek. It's the thought that counts. Clark cringed. He'd been thinking only of himself. At last, it was Benny's turn. He ripped open the wrapping while Clark held his breath. Wow, Captain Suckermouth, said Benny. I love Captain Suckermouth. Thank you, Secret Santa. Clark was so relieved. He blurted out, you're welcome. Everyone laughed. Well, so much for that secret, said Mrs. Inky Dink. Then Clark got a sweet surprise when he unwrapped his own present. Secret Santa's been spying on me, he cried. Yes, he has, Benny grinned. Got the same thing. When all the gifts had been opened, Clark's class continued its party with cookies and carols and Christmassy fun. Christmas rocks, said Clark, but one thing about Christmas rocks most of all. What is that? asked Joey. Clark the shark smiled. If you want to be smart, always give from the heart. Oh, he rhymed. The end. Thank you.